morning world. Welcome to Friday 19th of August and a glorious day in Blighty. Morning ladies, how are you this morning? Yeah? Good? Please steer it. And you lot? You've all got plenty of grub. Hello sweetheart, you right? Hello. So today, um, just another day on the farm really. I'm gonna be back out on that again later on, down the road, doing a lot of topping, a lot of uh, grass, rough area, just to tidy up for neighbor. Um, but first, remember that bit of an emergency we had over in Stroud? Well, we're going to go and see what the progress is like on that first. So I know some of you are interested, so I'll take you over and I'll show you what we've been up to. Oh, yeah. And uh, we've got to get all them back in there tonight. Because tomorrow, TB2, the reading, the important day. I hope we've still got everything crossed. I know it makes walking difficult, but, you know, wish us luck. All right, Biscuit can come with me this time because of where we're working on the path and where I'm going to park. Um, it's safe for her to come with me, so obviously I'll have to keep an eye on her on site, but we've got people walking, cycling, and taking their dogs up and down there, and have, well, have done all week. So the guys are wired up for it anyway. I've got to wait for the dust cart or trash lorry or whatever you call it for on the world. So um, you might be wondering why I'm wearing a shirt because it's 18 degrees C it there and I don't need to be wearing a shirt. Well, <coughs> I'm hedging my bets. <coughs> uh, apparently BBC Points West are coming back out to the site today, but they're not expected until this afternoon, which is why I'm going to go see the lads this morning. I don't particularly want to get involved um, with TV um, but the law of sod says that if I go over just in my shorts and t-shirt they're going to pick me, turn up and I won't have time to hide so just in case just in case I put a shirt on I know I know do you know what it is? Fungal bracket, and then it's Dryad Saddle. That's the common name. Oh yeah, that's that's opened up a bit. So when we started, there was a load of trees up there, all self-set. That street light was completely hidden. Two big ash trees there. We've left one, obviously, as a washing line. Big witch elm that was right over the top of here. That's gone. Oh yeah. If you stood here a week ago, um, that was all, although you could see the path, that was jungle. That's opened it right up. I saw that. I saw that attempted dog napping. Too late in your biscuit, yeah. I just said to the other guys, um, how's it all going? Apparently Frank's on his way out with some chocolate eclairs at 11 o'clock. Is he? Apparently, and then you've got a load of flapjacks coming this afternoon. Yeah. You ain't gonna want to leave here, are you? No. So that's it now, it's just that one there. Yeah. And then prune these back so that the light can yeah. get down the path. Yeah. yeah, you should finish it today, shouldn't you? Yeah. Not sure about that ash up there. What? That one. Remember this from the last video? Oh yeah. That's opened it up. Yeah, we certainly made, it, made a hole in it. I presume this was all up six, seven foot, was it? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Right, okay. Nowhere to hide now. Apparently this is going to be all painted white, just to aid the lighting. Local graffiti artists will love that. Not a lot, it's just these bits overhanging here. Take that back, like you said, to the edge of the wall, yeah. so that light can come down. Yeah. Well, that one looks like, looks like a witch elm. It's all bent and twisted. I'd be tempted to have him out because he's so end heavy. There's no, there's no leaves on the bottom. I'd, I'd probably take him right down. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'll leave you to make that decision anyway. All right, see you in a bit. Apparently, Frank's not coming till this afternoon now, so you're gonna have to wait for your clearance. Oh. Yay. <laughs> right, I'll see you guys later on. Cheers. Nowhere to hide. Well, um, I think we've definitely done what was required of this. Um, that was, for the want of a better description, a fairly overgrown jungle in there last week. It is now very open. In some ways, it's almost too much. Um, it's a shame so much had to go, but what do you do? The council are damned if they do, and they're damned if they don't. So, we've had uh, one or two folks complaining about uh, the loss of habitat and impact on wildlife. Uh, one lady rang up complaining about the owls, because apparently there's some owls around there, and she was worried about them not having somewhere to perch. I did remind her that the path is, it's a bit of old, old railway track, is kind of two miles long, and we've cleared 120 meters of it so I think the owls will probably find somewhere to to sit in you know but I mean I understood her, her problems I understood what her questions but like I say we're doing this for the greater good and I had to remind her more than once that I am actually uh, the monkey not the organ grinder <laughs> I don't pick the tune and I don't uh, I don't control what's going on I'm just doing as I'm told well within reason I don't do everything, I'm told. Not always. Right, we're gonna go back up through here because I want to have a look at, there was an ash tree up on the bank, but I wasn't very happy about the look of it. And we're gonna take down the goat willow in front of it, which is gonna expose it to some weather. So I just wanna have a look at it from this side, if I can identify it see if we can get to it. I think it's up there. Pretty sure it's up there. Yeah, it's that one there. Might have to speak nicely to the people in the house behind because we can get a cherry picker in there. So, um, doable anyway. So talking to Martin, um, we actually none of us think the BBC are going to turn up today because I think this is old news now. Um, I don't remember who told them that the TV were coming back, but we don't reckon they're going to. Um, they're going to get visits from various uh, members of um, council, um, the client who apparently has been feeding them every day with chocolate eclairs, donuts, and um, another, um, I think it's one of the lady um, officers from the, camp, the district council has been taking them flapjacks every day. 
still, they're getting the work done, everybody seems very happy. But, uh, but we will have to have a chat with the police because the police have been uh, tweeting about how wonderful the tree company is doing it and actually been naming one of our competitors. <laughs> so instead of saying, yeah, well done to tree management, they've been saying, well done to tree maintenance. And it's not that I want to take anything away from tree maintenance, but it wasn't them, it was us. You know, credit where it's due, lads, honestly. Uh, anyway, at the end of the day, we're, we're doing the job. Um, folks are feeling safer. I did have one lady stop me while I was there who didn't have a clue what was going on or why. She actually thought it was something to do with 5G, with telephone signal, and I said, nope. Uh, told her what was going on and she goes, oh, okay, well, that, that makes sense. Um, you know, what we're doing and why we're doing it. Let's just hope we don't have to do it too many more times in other places. Otherwise, your council tax will have to go up next year. Well, we're back. I finished off with topping for the neighbours. Job is done. All I've got to do now Blow up my radiators. One of the natty little things on this tractor, as in, in fact, quite a few tractors, is I can pull out radiators, makes them a lot easier to clean. Although it is a two-handed job. One. Right, they're not actually that bad, but they certainly won't hurt for a bit of a clean. Get the lumps out. Ready? Nine point nine percent of it. All right, put it back together again. Go on, get in there. There you go. Radiators. Done. Sorted. I'm here. I might as well go in the rest of it, I suppose, aren't I? Okay, I don't think I've got anything else to do with the topper, but I know if I take it off, I'll remember something that I should have done. So I'll leave it on for a minute.
That'll do. That's out of the way. Okay, they're all happy in there. Um, all the rest of my cattle have actually shut out for a minute. Um, that's deliberate. Um, they'll be up later on. I'll be at the gate mooing because they'll be hungry. The plan being is that um, I open the gate then and let them in. They'll all come in, fingers crossed, ready for tomorrow's TV meeting. So I haven't gone lump hunting and I don't intend to. I'll find out the results tomorrow. So until then, have a very pleasant evening and we'll see you tomorrow. Cheers.